to know who's just a guard on this. You know, the, the sensor guard. The thing they will break. Because they're really good, they are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you wish you had one, didn't you? Yeah. Don't you? Right, so the ZF. So you've still got your old uh, vintage looking uh, fussy camera with fussy knobs and sliders and wheels and things. All kinds of things, retro design. You've had it a little while now, so you've yeah, really got your head around it. Yeah, I think so. I think I've had it enough, probably about like four weeks now. And I've been using it as my main camera. Because your Z8 is in hospital still. Yeah, but I found a good opportunity for it. Because a few months ago when this first was released and we were, I was in really in two minds about mm. where it fits with the lineup and yeah. what where does it fit with usage where would it fit with my usage because yeah. I got my ZFC well I had my ZFC uh, for my everyday use street travel yeah. that kind of thing feel I like all the electro design for street travel so you feel a bit close to photography a bit more fun and but it lacked professional quality tools and uses so this is where this kind of fits in well does it where does it fit? It has the engine of a Z8, mostly. Mostly, okay. But it has the retro design, because you've got the Z6s. Yeah. Then you've got, because they're old generation now. Yeah. Then you've got the Z8 and the Z9. Yeah. Because going back two years ago, we said this in the last video, that really we wanted a Z63. Yeah. Autofocus, new features. And Nikon haven't provided that yet. No. Probably in a this year. My Z6 Mark I is five years old. Come wow. on, hurry up. Well, that's the thing. They've kind of been dancing around what we kind of want. So I've got no, the Z8. No, they've been dancing around, making sure you buy one of those. And a Z8. And a Z8. And then they'll bring the Z6 III. And then you'll want to buy one of those. Well, that's, it'll be interesting to see where that fits with this and my Z8. Mm. Handling, which is yeah. the major one for this. Yeah. My comment about handling, and I, I've, I have used it a tiny bit, I think it's a little bit balmy for a, the main manufacturer like Nikon to release a camera that straight away you have to go out and buy that small rig grip yeah. from the third party. Well, that, this was the major problem with why I never ordered one straight away, because I love the retro design, mm. the professional work. Well, uh, to be honest, putting any lens on this, I was in, I call it the death grip. Yeah. Like my, my, I'm getting white knuckles. <laughs> Yeah. So, of course, I've got the small rig grip, and yeah. it makes life a lot better straight away. Yeah. Could it still do with being a bit bigger? Yeah, but then it'd look a bit stupid, wouldn't it? Well, OK, but you've... But it's practical yeah. reasons. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been using it with a small rig grip as my primary camera. Let's talk about in the situation of my weddings and events. Yeah. I've been using it with my 50 1.2, wow, okay. which is... Which is a chunky, big, heavy lens. Really big. But like with the Z6 and the Z8, you, you, you learn to... You're supporting the lens because it's big with yeah. your left hand, yeah. And to be honest, I've, I've used it a whole day, and yeah, you can see my hand, you know, it's, it's going it's white and blue, yeah. <laughs> all white. But it's, it's not bad, it's yeah. better than I thought it would be. Okay. But it's not, I when I go back to my Z6, I love the ergonomics of yeah. the Z6. And the Z8 is similar to the Z6, I guess, but in a bigger body, yeah. And they're, they're, the Z8 is better for balance as well with bigger lenses, yeah. So then it goes into my casual street travel, yeah kind of every day and then it, it it's it's fine for those because you use smaller lenses you, want, you, like you need a 40 f2 on that don't you yeah something like that yeah even like the, the 1.8 ranges are okay with it and things yeah. like that but then you said you said about the grip that you have to buy an extra grip straight away hmm. but let's talk about Leica okay yeah <laughs> all right exactly I knew that was in the back of my mind as soon as you buy a Leica Q2 you've either got to get a thumb grip the hand grip or something. Yeah. So she's yeah. exactly the same style as that. Yeah. And it's worse though because you have to take it off to get at the battery compartment ah, or, the, or the memory yeah. card. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you're and exactly. That's a five thousand. Exactly. A lot yeah. more expensive yeah, camera yeah. than so this. It's right. And I was trying to. I was hoping you wouldn't bring that up. But it's good to have the option. So if you want to be purist and just keep it as it is with the kind of the rectangle, you can. Yeah. And you can add it on, which is fine. But my idea was, and it is that. A battery extension pack on this, yeah. on the bottom of it. You know, like the old school, you could put yeah, the yeah, Z6s yeah. on yeah. the bottom for professional work, much longer battery life, much bigger grip. Why don't someone design one? Because yeah. it would be perfect, be perfect for all day use, yeah. for bigger lenses, yeah. different kind of tools. Yeah. Because when I've been using it longer periods, when I'm a bit more in a fast-paced environment, I've had to disable some of the buttons on the back. 
because you catch them. I'll catch them just cause, holding because you're gripping it so hard, yeah. and then you start. Like the display button kept on getting knocked. So I've turned that, changed that to the top one. I've disabled that there because I kept on knocking that because that's there. So you don't do back button focus with this. No, because no you need. don't need to because the focusing no. is so good because well, it's like the Z8. But yeah, so there's a few ergonomic problems like that, and when you're on a tripod, you can't open the battery compartment right because it's in the way of yeah, everything yeah, yeah. that actually got two function buttons on the front it hasn't does it no it's got oh, one okay there, yeah so that's that one yeah because the z6 has a two although yeah. i must admit i only really use one of them exactly so. the same for me yeah and that's the, that's the lens release yeah, so yeah. it's just got the one there yeah yeah okay that's interesting as you just mentioned it but some of the it's nice i mean yeah it, that yeah, like yeah. that feels it feels okay we've got no lens on it there's obviously. no lens on it so yeah, I, I would just like that to be a bit... Yeah, bigger. A bit bigger. Like you say, if you combine it with a battery grip, it could almost be perfect. It is a find, nice, nice, funky-looking camera. Yeah, right? I mean, some of the dials as well are really embedded into it. Like, yeah. they barely stick out. Right. And when I've been doing it, not using the dials for, you know, different usage, yeah. it's quite hard to find them sometimes and mm. to move them. Compared a bit to stiff. Z6 or Z8. Yeah. I mean, I, I suppose you meant to use the top ones, but obviously for... For different uses, for weddings, yeah. I don't use it. I just no. use it on aperture priority, and I'm away. Is it the same sensor inside? Well, that's the other. Oh, I forgot to mention that. So it's a mechanical shutter, right? Which I think slows down the whole system, because uh, I'll try and. So, so that's pretty fast. Mm. But with the Z8, it doesn't have that. And it's a machine all, gun. all it does is just flick around the side of the screen, yeah. and that's all you know that you've took a picture. Yeah. Well, they can't make it exactly the same as the Z8. No, no, no. Well, yeah. Let's so let's talk about its features. Yeah. So is it a mini Z8? Is it? I feel it is. I couldn't. The autofocus for people is almost as good as the Z8. Like ninety percent. Yeah, something like that. I use it in the same way as use the Z8. And it's just leave on auto eye the whole yeah. time. It finds them, acquires them, it tracks them perfectly well. Yeah. It's fantastic. In that way, I think it's sometimes a bit overpowered. If you're just doing street and travel, you probably don't need all that stuff. No. But it's got the capability. And then we've, I've even used it as my main wildlife lens with my mm -hmm. 400. Yeah. And it's been really well with that too. Yeah. Again, the lenses are a bit tricky with the grip, but the, the, the features of it are almost as good. And it even has the best image body in body stabilization of any Nikon camera. So better than the Z8, better Z6, than the, yeah, Z8. all those. And I've used it. So with wildlife, yeah, with a bird perching, I've just quickly sh moved the shutter speed down. Yeah, and it's been fantastic. I've got insane results going down to any pretty much any shutter speed I want because. If you've got it in the lens as well, the combination of two. And I guess we've also been filming some music gigs together recently. Yes. And I suppose that whole stabilisation, you can put like a 70 to 200 lens on it. Yeah. Or get, even more if you yeah. wanted to. Yeah. And yeah. really handhold it. Yeah. And get it perfectly stable. Yeah. For video. And again, brilliant. with the autofocus for that, we've, we had a bit of a, a laugh with each other because and the way I film is I just pan and zoom with the lens, obviously. And the autofocus just does it itself because I leave it on a smaller mm. box and the auto it finds it, tracks it perfectly. But you had a different experience, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, so I, I never use auto eye when I'm taking photos, but for video it's on the AFF, so it's auto eye. But yeah. it was getting the wrong person, and then when you move the shot, you've got to switch it off with that, which wasn't a big deal. But I was thinking of that a lot, and you were like, you didn't even have to think about anything, you just right. wander just. around. Yeah. pointing it in the general direction and it works so and that's why it's so powerful this system so pixel shift Ooh. so you can make a massive megapixel photo yeah it like stacks them up automatically for it well you have to do it on the software yeah and it's it's nice but you have to have it on a tripod the subject has to be still yeah so it's for landscape limited use very it's limited use but it's good that it has it yeah and then for manual lenses again it's a unique feature it's better for manual lenses, so you can leave it on auto eye for manual mm -hmm. lenses, and okay. it'll go green when it's in focus on the cursor. That, yeah, now that is clever then. To find then it. You, when you're tuning the yeah. lens, it'll go green when it's in focus. Wow. What happens if you don't want to focus on the eye? Well, you can all the other things. <laughs> but the applications that make it more appealing to get these old manual lenses or yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. Low, yeah, that is uh, quite. Uh, a cool all, feature. Yeah, and all these like prime lenses, you can get 0.95s really cheap, and 1.2s yeah. really cheap, and pancake. So that's really, again, a unique feature. So many features in this, 
we're not going to go through them all because it would take all day. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a few of the little things. Like, it has the SD card, which I find old-fashioned and a bit slow. It doesn't take XQDs, up. No, I mean, it's, it, it's, they're okay. They're just a bit slower, aren't they? You have yeah. to get a fast one. Yeah. So when I thought filming 4K, if you don't have a fast card, it cuts it up into segments. Right. And I've left a little, I call them the little card, right in there. I'd never take it out because they're so small. It's, no, it's the little... Oh, the micro SD. Yeah, I mean, it works. So it's so got yeah. two card slots? Yeah, so that's the micro SD. But one of them is a micro. Yeah, oh, which okay. is fine. Again, if you yeah. get a fast card, yeah. you, you can, yeah. it's a backup, it's fine, it's good, professional use. Yeah, when the Z63 comes out, <laughs> is that going to go straight on eBay? <laughs> no. Oh, I think this is, it's got, when the Z63 does come out, it's going to be really difficult for me to justify getting one. Now you've got that. Because I've got the Z8. Yeah. And I've got this. So this is like my street everyday camera, which I've got mm. my ZFC for, that's gone now. Great little camera, but just didn't have all the features. So this is great for that. This mm. is a great, I can use it as my main camera, which I've been doing. And it's trendy as well. It looks great. Well, about the trend. <laughs> so it fits loads, it ticks all the boxes this does, really. So when your Z8 comes back, you put the 51.2 on the, back on the Z8. Yeah. You put the F-mount 28 on that. Yeah. As the secondary camera on yeah. my harness, and I'm, I've got the same autofocus system. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted the same system on both, so it's just a, a yeah. fluid system. Not that much more than half the price of the Z8, is it? Well, this is really good value. Think yeah. about the value of this. This is I got this for one thousand seven hundred pounds yeah. on a discount from Nikon, refurbished itself. Yeah, and that's amazing because my Z8 was four thousand pounds. Yeah, when I got it new. Yeah. So it's under half, half price, the price. Yeah. If you think, because I said to you that we bought our Z6 one and twos. Yeah. They were more expensive than this originally. Yeah. I think it was about back in the day. They're over two thousand pound, weren't they? At some point they would have been. Yeah. I remember us talking about a Z6 two at two grand and a Z7 two at three grand. Right. At some point. So. So what about you? So. Because you're back in the dark ages with your Z6. I am. Two yeah, and, the old uh, technology. Yes. Does this appeal to you in any way? Um. I, I want to. I'm waiting to see, like everybody else, want to yeah. see what the exact specs are on the Z63. Mm. The one thing I wanted was something with a faster frames per second on it. Right. So I think the Z8 is 20 or something. That's about 14, the same as the Z6. Okay. Is. So yeah. I, I'd really like the Z63 to have more frames per second, faster frames per second. It yeah. might not. No. Nah. But yeah, so this definitely gets my stamp of approval. It's a very powerful yeah. system. I love the, the, the design of it as well because it fits in lots of my needs for different purposes of photography. Uh, does it get your stamp of approval then? It does. It does. Chung. Chung. No, it's impressive. Yep. So what do you guys think? Does this appeal to you? Because the Z6 III isn't about yet. Does it's imminent. This, it's imminent. Yeah. I mean, did everyone rush to buy these because they wanted the Z6 III? Possibly. And, or maybe just they just the Fed up design. waiting. But the image quality is sensational, just the same as the Z6 1 and 2, mm. which we've always been happy with, so that's no yep. problem at all. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you want one? What colour would you get? Have I love you the got blue. one? Have you got one? And what do you think of it compared to your old cameras or even the Z8 and Z9?